Hello friends and welcome back. Today we are going to see how the actors in the film Spider-Man changed over time. The film was released in 2002. Let's see how they have changed in these 20 years. Before we start, I would like to say thank you all so very much. Just because of you guys, I have gained over 4,000 watch hours and 452 subs as of this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't done already because we still need about 550 subs to send the channel for review to get monetization on. Kindly give us a like for this video. It would only take a few seconds of yours, but it will help us tremendously. Elizabeth Banks is an American actress and producer. She portrayed Betty Brandt, one of the mud racket paper, the Daily Bugle staff, and J. Jonah Jameson's secretary. Brandt was usually seen either passing on messages to Jameson or receiving curt orders from him. While she never dates Peter, a subtle, mutual attraction to him is apparent between the pair. Elizabeth was 28 years old then. Now she is 48. Jack Betts is an American character actor and playwright. He appeared in the film as Henry Bauchan, worked with Norman Osborn since the founding of Oscorp. After contract competitor Quest Aerospace was attacked and sabotaged by Norman after he ingested the Super Soldier Serum, Oscorp had been given the contract with government and the company's stock skyrocketed. He was 73 years old then. Now he is 93 years old. Lucy Lawless is a New Zealand actress and singer. She appeared in the film in a minor role as Punk Rock Girl. She was 34 years old then. Now she is 54 years old. Octavia Lenora Spencer is an American actress, author, and producer. She acts in the film as a check-in girl. She was 32 years old then. Now her age is 52 years. Ron Perkins is an American actor. He acts in the film as Dr. Mendelstrom, a fictional character in the Marvel comic book universe. He was Norman Osborn's favorite employee and worked on the Goblin Serum with him until Norman killed him via choking him to death and throwing him out of a window from the testing room while testing the serum. K.K. Dodds is an American actress. She appeared in the film as Simpkins, Norman Osborn's co-assistant at OS Corp. We first see Simpkins alongside Norman Osborn at OS Corp Industries, where they meet up with General Slocum to talk about the performance enhancer experiment that he developed, then threatened to take away the contract from him if it wasn't a success. The last time we also see her is when she comes to Norman's penthouse where his son, Harry finds him on the ground sick and didn't remember a thing. She informed that his colleague, Dr. Strom, had been murdered and that a jet glider and suit were stolen. She was 37 years old then. Now she is 57 years old. Randy Savage was an American professional wrestler and baseball player. He appeared in the movie as Bone Saw McGraw, a professional wrestler from New York City. The character was created for the film and has never appeared in any Marvel comic before or since. Not long after gaining his powers, Peter Parker takes part in a promotional wrestling event so he could win the $3,000 prize money so that he could use it to buy a car in order to impress Mary Jane Watson. In order to win the money, however, he would have to last three minutes in a cage match with Bone Saw McGraw. Although Bonesaw is an exceptional wrestler, Peter was quickly able to beat him by using his powers. He was 50 years old then. He died on May 20th, 2011 at the age of 59 years. Joe Manganiello is an American actor. He appeared in the film as Flash Thompson, a star high school football player and classmate of Peter Parker who mercilessly bullies Peter and, to some extent, Peter's friend Harry Osborn. He is depicted as the ex-boyfriend of Mary Jane Watson, Peter's crush, at the start of the film. P. 
Peter accidentally uses a web string to splash Flash with a lunch tray of food. A fight between the two subsequently breaks out in the school's hallway, which Peter wins, albeit accidentally, by discovering his new powers and sending Flash down with just one punch. He was 25 years old then. Now he is 45 years old. Jonathan Kimball Simmons is an American actor, considered one of the most prolific and well-established character actors of his generation. He acts in the film as J. Jonah Jameson, a blustering, bombastic man and a source of comic relief. He retains his dislike for Spider-Man and takes delight in anything that might discredit or defame him. After Spider-Man first appears on New York streets, Jameson describes him as a menace and a vigilante and points out that he must have something to hide if he feels it necessary to wear a mask. Indeed, the only reason he publishes news on Spider-Man is because it sells papers and upon hearing that no one has been able to get a clear shot of him. Peter Parker gets money from selling photos of his costumed self-freelance to Jameson. He was 47 years old then. Now he is 67 years of age. Cliff Robertson was an American actor whose career in film and television spanned over six decades. He appeared in the film as Ben Parker. Commonly known as Uncle Ben is a fictional supporting character from the Marvel Comics Spider-Man series. Uncle Ben and Aunt May take care of their nephew, Peter Parker in the absence of his parents for unknown reasons. One night Ben drives Peter to the library and talks with Peter about his changing behavior. Losing his temper during Ben's speech, Peter tells him to stop pretending like he's his father. Later that night, Ben is apparently shot by a carjacker whose accomplice, Dennis Carradine, Peter refused to stop when cheated out of his money by the man Carradine robbed. Peter is haunted by the fact that he could have stopped Carradine and saved his uncle. Cliff Robertson was 79 years old at that time. He died on September 10th, 2011 at the age of 88 years. Rosemary Harris is an English actress. She portrayed May Parker in the film. Commonly known as Aunt May is a housewife who is widowed after the death of Uncle Ben. She was the one who encouraged Peter with her words of wisdom as Uncle Ben had done before his death even managing to make him try to return to his Spider-Man life after giving up the persona. When Norman learns of Spider-Man's true identity, he attacked May at her home while she was saying her prayers. May is terrified by the Green Goblin's demonic appearance and was hospitalized after the Green Goblin injured her during the attack. She was 74 years old then. Now she has spent 94 years of her age. Willem Dafoe is an American actor. He appeared in the film as Norman Osborn, a rich industrialist and the founder of Oscorp Technologies, while he is the alter ego of Norman Osborn, the founder and CEO of Oscorp and the father of Harry Osborn, who befriended Peter Parker. After being exposed to the Goblin Serum, the Goblin Serum caused a side effect that made Norman insanely dangerous and hearing the voices of the Goblin and causing his mind to split in two, creating his alternative persona, the Green Goblin. A complete parallel to himself, Green Goblin takes over Norman, driving him to kill and destroy anybody and everything until he becomes obsessed with destroying Spider-Man and everything he cares about. He was 47 years old then. Now Willem is 67 years of age. James Franco is an American actor and filmmaker. He acts in the film as Harry Osborn. Osborn was the son of Norman Osborn, best friend of Peter Parker and former head of Oscorp. He had flunked out of the many private schools his father had sent him to public school and wished to have his wealth and privilege downplayed to his new classmates. He constantly tries to impress his father Norman Osborn, a rich industrialist who was very invested in his work having little time for his son. Harry grows jealous of Peter's relationship with him as Norman admired Peter's intelligence and work ethic. Harry starts a relationship with Mary Jane Watson whom he finds attractive. 
He is aware Peter does as well, and after he finds out attempts to justify himself saying that Peter never made a move, though she eventually falls for Peter. Harry eventually manages to somewhat mend the relationship he has with his father. He was 24 years old then. Now he is 44 years of age. An American actress Kirsten Dunst portrayed Mary Jane Watson, a former Broadway actress and the girlfriend of Peter Parker. At first, she was dating the high school rival, Flash Thompson, but breaks up with him at their high school graduation ceremony due to finding him to be a jerk. Peter's best friend Harry Osborne is her first boyfriend after leaving high school, but when she was saved by Spider-Man after being attacked by the Green Goblin, she became attracted to him. Kirsten was 20 years old then. Now her age is 40 years. Tobey Maguire is an American actor and film producer. He acts in the film as Peter Parker. He was orphaned when his parents died and he later lived in Queens, New York City with his Uncle Ben and Aunt May. He was bullied at school and had a crush on his next door neighbor Mary Jane Watson. He is a high school student living in New York City who acquired superhuman abilities after receiving a bite from an experimental spider during a school field trip. Publicly, he works as a photographer for the Daily Bugle and gains notoriety for capturing photos of his alter ego fighting crime in New York City. He began dating his childhood and high school crush named Mary Jane Watson, who earns a living as a model and an actress. He was 27 years of age then. Now he is 47 years old. Thank you so much for watching our content. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. I would highly recommend you guys to watch these interesting videos as well. You would definitely like them. See you in the next video.